What is up, everybody? Sorry for the small hiatus, but uh, I'm back, and guess what? I'm a tech YouTuber now. Check out the lights. Check out uh, check out the mic. That's pretty professional, right? We're doing this is good content for you to consume, and I got new content for you to consume because we're going to be opening up a uh, we're going to be opening up a MacBook, uh, and so let's go. Ugh, we're going to open up. Beautiful M1 Max because it will max out your credit card and your debit card, but not your crypto.com card. Unwrap it and don't worry, we'll be back to back to programming pretty soon. A lot of plastic. It's good for the ocean. Now we're gonna take off this part. MacBook Pro, nothing to, nothing to see there. Nothing to see there. And if here we go, this thing is chonkers. By the way, this is the uh, 16 inch model with uh, 32 gigs of RAM. This is the M1 Max with a terabyte of uh, SSD storage. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this chonky boy. We're doing kind of a older style laptop with all the, it's, it's super duper square, as you can see. And it's got kind of like a nice thickness to it. Nice square form factor. And I'm not even opening it on the right side, so let's move on. Uh, let's, let's put this here for now. Even Maybe that's a bit blasphemous, but whatever. Um, we've got the classic uh, Apple card. Ooh hoo hoo, this is, check this out. This is that sweet new piece of plastic. You can just quickly pop it in instead of uh, fumbling around trying to stab a USB-C into the, into the body of your MacBook. The body of your body. Oh. Here we've got a, the power brick. This is a chonker. Everything here is chonky. You should call this the M1 chonky because that's what it is. We're looking at how many, how many was it? 140 watts? 140 watts? They did a lot of wattage tuning on this machine or so I've heard. So those beautiful gradient graphs on Apple's website claim with literally no y-axis and no citation and no way to verify any of the data, but it looks nice and that's why I bought it. I threw a bad amount of money at this. Let's move on. Here we go. There's the front. There's the back. I'm opening it to you guys first. Oh, oh is that the iconic Apple sound? And we got this little screen. Beautiful, beautiful, magnifique. That's not gonna be, ooh, oh, it's the iconic hello. I feel like Steve Jobs. Yeah, hold that for like a second. Look at me. Back your head up a little bit. First impressions and setup guide, how I'd usually set up a new MacBook to be, uh, you know, to my standards. So first things I always do uh, whenever I have a new Apple device or stuff like that is come in here into the system preferences and software update. I knew it. I swear to God, every time you buy an Apple product, there's a day one DLC. Um, thankfully, it's free. So this happens every time. So we're just going to have to update now. All right, cool. So we are booted back in after downloading. And I put myself in the corner here. So uh, let's go back to the system preferences. And uh, a few things that I always do. Keyboard. Modifier keys. Here we can remap the caps lock to something else or these other keys to something else. The globe key is a funny name for a key, but that's on the bottom left there. But anyways, we're going to remaps caps lock to escape because it's easier to reach and caps lock is kind of a useless key. That's what we do for our modifier keys. For the trackpad, always click the tap to click. Love the tap to click. Alright, so now here we are in the finder. And the finder is something is really poorly in the default mode is horrible. First of all, tags. I hate tags. I don't really know what they are. Uh, they never 
they've never done anything they've never helped me so we're just gonna go ahead and delete them all there we go now it looks nice much cleaner so one thing that we're not gonna need anymore is um, the tag button up here so if you right click the bar of the finder um, you can see they start to wobble you can change the appearance of uh, the finder menu um, delete this and you can show icon and text which I think looks better but your call there we go now we have a nice uh, icon and text I like to always be in the column view I understand that there is not much to see here but usually the column view is the best view in my opinion another thing we want to do is we always want to show the path on the bottom as a bar I think it makes everything so much easier to use so that by the way is view um, path bar you always want to show path bar um, I always want to show the tab bar in case you want to open a tab in finder uh, so you can close the tab I like the ability to open a tab in finder you might find it a bit cluttered and finally I like to show the status bar down here so as you can see I got the one terabyte version so it tells you the amount of storage down there and I really think these touches of taking care of your um, finder this will help you immensely in the future so you should definitely do it another thing is your home folder you're definitely going to want to drag that into the favorites tab because you're going to want to hop there often um, and also maybe even Macintosh HD in case you want to complete you want to hit the root for some reason you can go there too now if we go to finder and then preferences so remember those other stuffs were in the view uh, and remember that we want columns this is the default one so we want the default columns view we should do that now if we go to finder preferences general nothing there make sure this is clicked the in the folders instead of new tabs tags who cares and here the sidebar you can pick what you want to see in the sidebar so I actually don't like iCloud I hate iCloud I think it's annoying um, and I would never use it so I could put the Macintosh in locations but honestly I like it more in the favorites and when you're searching try to search the current folder so you don't f search weird like library files and that's pretty much it for this and I think that this is just such a more usable finder and it's so easy to use now one thing that is super annoying about finder is hitting command Q to close it actually doesn't close it and if you close it like in your uh, multitask so why is that why is finder always around um, I don't know it must be a legacy thing but to get rid of that finally this is a bit of a more advanced thing but I still I really hate how finder stays up even when you quit it I think it pollutes my uh, command tab and I never really use my desktop icons pretty much ever because I like to keep the desktop clean with no files on it. So if you're like that, with the caveat that you need to be like that, you can actually modify Finder to be able to quit. Um, and it can just get out of your friggin' tab thing, which is this. And to do that, we have to write a um, into the Apple comms. So this is a, uh, these are like options in an Apple that you have to write in your terminal. Um, these are like a old school library path. So we're gonna have to enable that so we can open up the terminal and uh, write that. 
and there we go and now if you quit finder with command Q it actually dies so that is what I like to see because finder I just find it annoying that it's there as you can see my uh, desktop icons are gone but I actually that's a benefit to me because um, because I don't like uh, I don't like the desktop I don't like the desktop cluttered if I need something from the desktop I'll take from the desktop folder I don't understand point on the desktop so if that's also you you know uh, you can kill finder you can kill finder with this uh, stack overflow answer and we're going to use the dock we're going to customize the dock and the first thing you do to customize the dock is you can right click on the separator and we can click dock preferences and this will show us our dock preferences so uh, I do like to have my dock on the right side I think it's nicer I think it looks cleaner I like to have the full vertical real estate because usually when you're reading you're reading like this right so you get more this way real estate I think is more valuable than the uh, left right real estate um, also I don't like magnification so make sure that's ticked off because that does I think it just looks silly let me put the let me put me even smaller in the corner there we go um, finally this is the main one I really like to automatically hide the uh, menu bar up top gives you even a little bit more space and then you can always go like this to go grab it so you just do that boom you can grab it and there's another setting about the dock that I really care about and that's um, you turning hiding on so I don't know why they do this but this particular setting is um, is hidden under a right click menu so whatever turn hiding on there we go so now we can just sit back and relax you bring your mouse here and um, and here they are and so now that we have the dock nice well and set up this is a perfect opportunity to go through uh, the apps that we want and don't want and I will offer you an explanation of the good apps and the bad apps so finder we'll keep that he's a nice happy face looks like a nice guy um, so we'll keep him launch pad yeah we can keep it Safari um, no we're gonna we don't really need Safari so we'll get rid of that one messages I think that's a good one mail if you use mail um, if you use the Apple mail keep it if not throw it away maps you almost never need this because remember these aren't deleting it this is just removing from the dock so in I don't know in what scenario you need the map so bad you click it from the dock but again photos this is all just a bunch of random stuff like why would this ever ever be on the dock I don't understand because uh, you would just you would just use it you would just launch it yourself the only thing that should be on the dock is stuff that gets used regularly once a day like are you serious like contacts get out of here reminders get out of here also keep in mind that a lot of uh, so for a good note-taking app I would recommend this app called obsidian obsidian MD uh, I think it's super nice it works super well uh, and it's free it uses markdown files it's a very transparent database right there on your computer so we're gonna we're gonna use that we're gonna use obsidian instead of notes for our note taking uh, you'll be a lot happier and so here is the note taking app you can hit command N to new file here is a cool new file you can do markdown and uh, preview it and it has links and if you go like uh, now that that's there, I'm going to uh, remove this from the dock. Apple TV, stupid. Why is that in the dock? Apple Music, kind of sucks. Um, podcasts, again, that's more of a thing you do on your phone. News, nobody reads the news these days. Keynote, why would I want any? Why would I want any Office product in my dock, dude? This is ridiculous. This is a pro sumer laptop app store just a bunch of random crap except for xcode which you really do need to download if you want to get anything done so uh, i basically always 
open up the app store, download Xcode, and never open it up again. Um, system preferences we can keep. See, that's something that's that could be worthwhile to keep. Everything else is fine. Even Launchpad is a little bit iffy, but um, this is a nice dock. This is a nicer dock, um, so that's that's good. That's good stuff. Next, we're going to uh, download a browser that we like. A lot of people like Chrome. A lot of people like Firefox, uh, and you know other Chromium based. I mean, Firefox isn't Chromium based, but other Chromium based ones are also pretty popular. I am a fan of Brave, so uh, let's use that. Good browser. I would like to allow notifications. Very cool. Uh, Kanye. All right. So now that we have this, we can get rid of Safari and not worry about it ever again. And now we can go ahead and move this into the pinned section by dragging it past the divider here. Also, you can drag the divider back and forth. In fact, maybe I'll drag it to be a little smaller. Okay, looks good. And so that, now we have our browser. And while we're here, why don't we download some extensions? Yeah, add block, add the extension. And you can also get Privacy Badger. Why not, since we're already here. Privacy Badger by the E triple F. All right, so now we can um, get untracked. So that should be good to go. Um, yeah, cool, cool, cool. So those are my two quick uh, recommendations for a uh, better spotlight. So in case you don't know, spotlight search is this search that comes up when you hit command space. It's okay, but a way 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 better uh, command space and that is called Raycast so we're going to get Raycast this is an absolutely fire uh, you know tool we're gonna download it for the Mac and uh, here we go so this is gonna be replacing our uh, spotlight search so download Raycast, put in applications, come here, open Spotlight, and use that to open Raycast. Open it, here we go. Launch Raycast. Okay, so this is Raycast. So it's a pretty nice um, replacement. So right now we have both uh, Spotlight and Raycast. Raycast is under Option Space by default. So instead, what we can do is get rid of Spotlight Search because it's pretty much worse in every way. So we're gonna go to shortcuts, shortcuts, here we go, and spotlight, and we're going to remove it, very nice. Now that we've removed that, we're gonna go up here to our Raycast icon and click preferences, and then click uh, Raycast hotkey, command space, awesome, so now, uh, we have Raycast under command space. It looks great. And so it can do everything that Spotlight can do. You know, it can search for apps. It can search for uh, queries. But it can also do kind of inline uh, snippet completes, kind of like Google does. So we can see like, oh, what is 2BTC? You know, some good old-fashioned a price in Canadian pesos, you could ask for it in USD. I feel like they got some NLP stuff going on here. You can hit enter, then have the thing in uh, in your clipboard. So it's got really cool support like that. Like you can say, oh, what was 12, 12, 20, 21? Or 12, 12, 20, I guess that's one of the ways to format date. Oh, it's, it's this day. Or something they got good NLP in the search it's totally free it's a totally free Mac extension they have a extensible um, API thing they also have a clipboard history oh whoops sorry um, they have a clipboard history so you can actually see the things you've copied uh, recently it literally adds a functionality that you didn't have there which I think is crazy a clipboard history 
like you, let's see here we copy this and then if you want to go grab the usd thing that i copied before boom it's right here and it has like obviously some sort of a ring buffer where it starts getting deleted at the end i guess or just like a window but um dude yeah amazing raycast gotta get it so now we have raycast now we have a browser um, next thing we're going to do is something to manage our windows we need a window manager because you know these windows aren't going to manage themselves these employees aren't going to manage themselves um, and so there's basically been the king of uh, window managers when it comes to the Mac it's always been spectacle well I've never even heard of search.brave.com maybe we can uh, change the default search engine before later but so spectacle is a window manager for your Mac so you can manage your beautiful windows because um, as you as you may or may not know Mac's window management is pretty minimal by default uh, not many shortcuts but with spectacle you can uh, snap to one side snap to the other so that's a very good one so that's the one I'm gonna choose to do even though it's not actively maintained you know it's kinda like what I'm used to so we're just gonna do this and we're gonna put this in our applications like that and uh, it should be there so if we hit spectacle and we're gonna run it under Rosetta and now you have to uh, go to your system preferences unlock use touch ID we're gonna give it to spectacle and we're also gonna give it to Raycast because it also has a window manager lock it back up close this and now we have spectacle running so we can snap uh, different windows to different sides like this so it, the, it's a uh, option command so the two closest keys to your spacebar on the left side and then the arrow key to move it around and if you hit up 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 like it uh, resizes in three different ones and then and then option command F will full screen uh, something so it's a nice nice utility I use it a lot you know just to quickly snap some windows together if you're a fan of the more OG kind of full window management experience like i3 or uh, BSPWM or just all the WMs in the you know the Linux kind of community kind of stuff the auto resizing auto managing kind of uh, window managers I do have a recommendation and that is Amethyst WM Mac hope I spelled that right so this one is another uh, they're called tiling window managers I can't believe I forgot that so yeah so these are this is a really good tiling window manager it's the only one I've used that actually works fast enough to not be in intrusively in the way um, because the other ones are just like it'll take forever it'll just load it what's the point but this one is like quick 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 you can install it with homebrew uh, and you know it's it's a tiling window manager like what else is there to say if you know it if you've used it if you've loved it if you've been tiling window manager pilled then you can't ever go back um, so if you want one of those for your brand new Mac I can't recommend amethyst enough uh, but I personally am not a huge on tiling window manager, that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pass for now. But just know that the option is there. I think there are better uh, better terminals. Honestly, I don't have a problem with the default Mac terminal, but uh, I've kind of used to iTerm two, so that's what we're gonna get. We're gonna get iTerm two. And we're gonna put it in applications and we're gonna open it and we are going to install the developer tools yeah here it is you can do full IMG cat in the terminal it has a its own protocol for uh, displaying kind of bitmaps I guess like that so that's pretty cool honestly the regular terminal I've got no problem with it it might even be a better idea uh, for some people alright so it has been downloaded 
And now we have uh, item two. We now have item two, so we can open up Raycus now that we have that set up uh, with command space and open item two. And would you look at that? This is item two. We should install Homebrew. We should install Homebrew. So, home. Um, it's just brew.sh. All right, we are going to install Homebrew which basically means we are going to copy and paste a script into our terminal, which is, uh, as you know, very good coding practice. You always want to copy and paste scripts without reading them, uh, or else it'll, it won't be exciting when you, uh, when you download it. So now we do this, and we are going to install Homebrew. So that's brew.sh is where you install Homebrew. And uh, when you install it, you will get a command line tool to install other things. It's a package manager. It manages your packages. Um, so that's that's what Homebrew does. Remember, uh, Homebrew, so the brew command will install command line packages. And then you can use something called a cask to install GUI packages. Um, so let's just wait for it to finish right here and take a sip of, a, take a sip of this lovely decaffeinated coffee. I heard decaffeinated coffee is really bad for you. Is that true? Okie dokie. Now, we're pretty much done with the install stuff. So now I got some other recommendations for um, for software. So one thing that's good, you want a good video editor that's nice, it's free, and it's M1 optimized. It's got to be DaVinci Resolve. Again, I gotta do something about the brave search, but we are going to download DaVinci Resolve uh, for Mac. Bob Hope. All right. Well, now you've got your new MacBook. You've got a good browser. You've got so yeah, so that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for 200 subs. I know that uh, it's probably going to tank after I post this because they'll be like, oh, who is this guy I'm subscribed to? But thank you for the subs. Thank you for supporting the SO Lang's content. I'll definitely be back with an SO Lang video. I just got the new Mac. Thought it'd be fun to uh, make some content. I was just going to set it up anyway, so I thought, uh, you know, why not... Uh, why not record it? It might help somebody. So hopefully you learned something new. If you got a tip or trick, feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much. Maybe I'll make a triumphant return to the channel. Or definitely, I have the new Mac. It records pretty well. Maybe we can do some uh, some coding. Who knows? Maybe I could do some deep diving into the Mac's new CPU, the M1 Max, M1 Mac. CPU, so that'll be cool. But otherwise, thank you for staying with the channel. Uh, and uh, and that's it. That's it. Thanks so much, everybody. Goodbye.